Hi, and welcome to No Option Antics. This is Peter Zomaya, and what we'll be talking about today are strike prices and expiration. So let's get right into it. What is a strike price? Well, a strike price is simply a point or a set price where you can either buy something if you own a call or sell something if you own a put. These are set prices. The set price does not change. So for example, if I have a $50 call, that would allow me to purchase stock at $50 no matter where the stock is trading. This is the strike price in question here. So no matter how high or how low the stock goes, I do have the ability to buy stock at $50 here. Uh, as an example for a put, if I had a $35 put, the put allows me to sell stock and it allows me to sell stock in this case at $35 no matter where the stock is trading. Obviously, if the stock were above $35, I would not want to sell it for $35, but if the stock were below $35, I would want to do so. So let's talk about some typical strike prices that are out there. Uh, these are a guideline, and take it as a guideline because there are many exceptions to this. Stocks below $25 generally will have $2.50 in between the strike price increments meaning I'll have a strike price at $5, one at $7.50, $10, $12.50, $15, $17.50, $20, dollars $22.50, $25, as you can see here. Stocks that trade between $25 and $200 will generally have $5 in between the strike prices. So what you'll see are strike prices at $25.30, $35.40, $45.50, $45 and so on, all the way up to $200. Stocks above $200 generally will have $10 increments in between the strike prices. So you'll see that they'll have strike prices of $200, $210, $220, $230, and so on. Again, these are just guidelines. Some of the exceptions are uh, some stocks have $1 in between the strike prices. Uh, if a stock splits, you can also see some very bizarre strike prices. I can recall seeing many a time where you see a $26.33 or some $27.61 strike price due to some crazy stock split. The only way to really know what options are available is to look at your option chain for the stock that you're trading with to see what options are available on that particular stock. Now, as far as expiration, there's some confusion at times as to what expiration or when, I should say, expiration is. Options expire at 4 o'clock Eastern Time on the third Friday of the month. Okay, uh, The actual uh, set point is the Saturday following the third Friday of the month, but for our purposes is the, 30, the third Friday of the month. So what, time, what type of period can you buy options for? Well, you can buy options anywhere between one month and 39 months until their expiration. Uh, the longer term options, a lot of people have heard this term leaps. They're called leaps. And what a leap stands for is a long term equity anticipation security. No difference in a regular option other than the amount of time that's in there. So do you have to hold an option until it expires? Uh, the answer is no. You can buy and sell options anytime you want. You could purchase an option for two years out, buy it and sell it within the same day. You can purchase a leap option. You can purchase any option, buy them and sell them on the same day. You can buy them and sell them hundreds of times prior to their expiration. This is Peter Zamaya. Join us for more education at www.nooptionantics.com. Or if you have questions, you can send us an email at info at nooptionantics.com. Thank you very much.